welcome back to the Road to Episode 7, my ongoing series where I chart the road to the release of Star Wars Episode 7 in 2015 and that is officially the longest intro I've ever done for a video but I keep doing it every single time because that's what it is and I'm going to get right on with the, um, uh, the topic for this video which is the, more, the continued casting rumours. We've had so many casting rumours, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's the new Star Wars film, it's a big deal, but I mean, the, the casting news has just been, I, don't, I, don't, I can't even think of a word to describe, I can't think of an adjective, adjective to describe how, yeah, <laughs> there's just so, so many casting rumours, and the, the, the latest ones, uh, as we start this new year, 2014, uh, in particular, uh, Breaking Bad's Jesse Plemons, who played uh, Todd in Breaking Bad, or is affectionately known on the internet as Meth Damon. Um, Hugo Weaving, Adam Driver, who I don't know, I've never seen him again in anything, and Michael Fassbender. Uh, now, running down this list, Michael Fassbender I think would be awesome in Star Wars. I thought he did a great job in Prometheus, so he's great in a sci fi film, but that's not really you know, the only thing you should judge someone on. I think he's a fantastic actor in general. Brilliant in X Men First Class as well, in other dramatic roles. I think he'd fit in perfectly. Uh, with Star Wars, and again, I said this with Daniel Day Lewis. I think the film will really benefit from a really, really great actor. Much is the same that Star Wars uh, really benefited benefited from having Alec Guinness in the film. Um, so if they do decide to make this Episode Seven film about all this whole new cast of young characters, just to anchor it with some kind of real, uh, you know, uh, good performance from a, a really well-known great actor would be really good. Hugo Weaving. Now it's been said that you know potentially he could be playing like a uh, an imperial kind of um, uh, admiral or something, and I'd see him fitting into that absolutely perfectly. And he would just slot in like a just like a glove <laughs> to quote Ace Ventura. He would be amazing as a kind of uh, imperial leader. I think um, and people have been saying General Thrawn, but you know they're not going to go in that direction. And that's an interesting thing as well, you know. Um, and I'll get to that um, later on. Uh, another. Um, uh, rumour is uh, Tyre Sheridan, a kid who's in mud, who's been rumoured again, but these are just rumours, you know, and apparently things have been rewritten, and, uh, you know, there's just so many things I could uh, cover, really, but, um, yeah, apparently, um, you know, Plemons met with J.J. Uh, Abrams in Los Angeles, um, and new numerous sources saying that um, he was well-received in that casting session, and is a serious contender, but there's no word on what role he will be playing if he gets the part. So at this point, it's anyone's guess. Um, but a lot of rumours have been that he will play Ben Skywalker, which is absolutely terrible idea, in my opinion. I mean, I'd love to be proved wrong, you know. And again, this is just rumour at this point. It's just, uh, you know, it's not even worth... I, well, I don't know. I guess all of this isn't worth, uh, you know, speculating on, but it could be true. If they put Jesse Plemons in as Ben Skywalker, I just... I think he was good in Breaking Bad, you know, but he was kind of this weird little psychopathic kind of so sociopath, actually, who had a weird head and a weird face, no offense to him, but I just don't see him being that kind of, you know, uh, fresh-faced young Skywalker to, you know, lead Star Wars into the, the new trilogy and be the new face and the new hero of the story. I just, I can't see him in that role. As a villain, I could definitely see him in, in a role like that. Um... And there was some more talk about it, actually, uh, somewhere, um, but I, I can't find it now. In fact, actually, there's a um, confirmation. I'll get to that quickly before we uh, round up the casting rumours, uh, the latest casting rumours. There was um, confirmation from J.J. Uh, Abrams himself, and he also talks about the fact the script is now finished, so we're going to talk about that as well. Um, the script is officially finished, so uh, that's really cool. Obviously, they're going to be moving ahead really soon now. I'm just trying to find this bloody email that I sent myself that had all the information on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're going to be moving ahead with it very soon and we'll be, I'm sure we'll be hearing some concrete kind of announcements as far as the cast goes because we still had nothing so far which is just crazy but um, here we go. JJ Abrams says we're working really hard and we've got our script. We're in deep prep, full steam ahead. So that's cool. And he also confirms uh, that he has uh, met with Jesse Plemons. And this is now the second confirmation of anyone meeting, you know, for the film. Uh, the other one was uh, Saoirse Ronan, who confirmed that she tested for the film and didn't get the part. Um, so Jesse Plemons is the second person to be officially confirmed that he actually was 
you know seen in, in a casting session. And um, Abram says he is one of the actors that we've talked to. Yeah, but you know it's not often that I read about actors that I'm going to be meeting. That I get to read articles about actors who are going to come in. And so I get to see someone and say, oh, I read that I'm going to see you. Uh, it's usually agents talking to people about what's happening. It's a, a lot of noise. And that sums it up perfectly from J.J. Abrams. This is all a lot of noise. There's all these rumors and speculate, speculative um, articles on the internet. It is a lot of noise. Um, and he, <laughs> so he was asked um, by um, the rap... Um, what's the craziest rumor we've heard about the film? And he said, there's been so many of them, it's amazing to see how many there are. But it's sweet because it shows that there's an interest in this movie and that we all obviously know it is there. But it is an incredible thing to see how many crazy things get thrown out that people often write, then write commentaries about <laughs> how happy they are, how disappointed they are about something that is completely false. It's a lot of noise, frankly. Well, you know, that's kind of almost direct, directed at me. Uh, not directly, but, you know, it's people like me who um, do these things, you know. I mean, obviously he's more talking about people who write articles and stuff on the internet, but, you know, I'm here making a video just speculating on noise, so I guess, you know, <laughs> like I have fall into that category, but it's fun to do, and it'll be fun to look back on in, in the future when it's all said and done, and we're sitting down watching episode 7, and we can kind of digest everything and, and look back. Um, so, yeah, and he was also asked, you know, um, uh, if he has any plans with the next two films in the trilogy, and he says, I'm just focusing on episode 7 right now, um, and yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. Just the casting rumours and the fact that the script is ready. Um, so it looks like the film will be moving forward a lot quicker than it has been in 2013. 2013 was just a year just chock full of rumours that could quite easily lead nowhere, you know. Um, so hopefully 2014 will bring a lot more um, concrete um, news that I can talk about. Thank you for watching and I'll see you with the next one.